Hi, my name is Kimberly Giddings and welcome to Focus. Today I have here with me Floretus Winner, 21 years old, who suffered a traumatic accident back in 2019. She's currently recovering uh, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Floretta, welcome to Focus. How are you today? I am doing fine, thank you. How are you yourself? I'm great. Good. Tell me a bit about yourself. How are you? I am Floretta Spooner, 21 year old. My accident was very challenging for me. I, in 2019, I was at an event where me and a few others went into a car accident. I went through, through the seats underneath the deck where I hit my head. There is when I went into a coma. I spent two weeks in the hospital and the last week at home, tested, treated by doctors. And when I do regain my conscious because I had short term memory loss, I found out that I was paralyzed from my left. Hmm. Yeah. How was that for you at that time? At that time, I had support from my family and friends, but you know, gradually the support faded. Uh, it was very challenging. I, I felt so bad that I couldn't help support my family or support myself in that way financial way and I regained back my balance. I started to go therapy but they said that I shouldn't learn to get up on my own because I mean they're catered for my health and if I fall and hit my head I may go back into a coma. So I stopped go and I learned to get up on my own. It was very challenging because I always fall and I get up back every time I fall. Three months after my accident, I went back to work, not be able to walk, and I had help from persons on the road to cross me over the road or put, place me in a bus. It was very challenging, but some of those just laughed at me. They laughed at me and they said all manner of stuff against me, but I did not give up and I continued to go. And how did you get through that? How long did that last? Uh, that lasted for, well, the pandemic was in 2020, I believe. Yeah, it started in 2020, exactly. March 2020. Mm -hmm. So it only happened for like seven, like two to three months because I we stopped, everywhere closed down and I stayed at home. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that was it. For being paralyzed, how long would you, was you paralyzed for? Well, I couldn't get up on my own for three months, well, two months. The last month I went back to work because I learned in that period of time to get up on my own to stand at least i couldn't walk fully as yet but i all up on all the buildings mm -hmm. in my surrounding to get by mm -hmm. to go from one place to the other and ask others to help mm -hmm. yeah and who do you live with i am live presently living with my mom my stepfather and also my sister and brother do you currently work uh no i don't have a um, sorry uh organization where i work as and I, I have a business. It's a natural product business that like these products are made from all natural ingredients that like in any part of your body. So mm -hmm. that is what I do. So we'll get into the business in a few, but we spoke earlier and you stated that whilst you were paralyzed and you weren't at the state where you should be, you were depressed. Tell me about that. Oh, uh, well, the depression was they come on slightly, but I did not let it get to me. That is why I started back to challenge myself to get up and go out there because everyone around me used to make me feel like if I'm nothing, that because I cannot walk on my own or do anything, I watch everyone's lives and I, I was very hurt that I couldn't do the stuff that they did. Mm -hmm. So it pushed me to the point where I started to walk on my own. And while doing that last year, however, is when I get, got into depression. Um, I had a vision from God and it pushed me to know more about it. It was a part of pageantry and listening to him, you know, me being happy and that is all I ever want to be, happy and I just continued to follow him and fasted and prayed. When I told 
family members, friends, etc. They said that I was crazy and that God won't, don't, don't want anyone to stop working because that, that is what my spirit told me not to work, right? And because it, was, it, it came on rapidly and anywhere that I tried to apply it for job, they never responded. Everyone just laughed at me because of my vision. And I reached out to a modeling agency. They employed me. I worked there on East Bank for two weeks until the owner for that corporation asked me to be in a relationship with him. And because I said no, he fired me. And that was in October. And I didn't say anything. I was so grateful because he knew my condition and my situation at that time. And he could have used that against me and do more because I couldn't run or jump. Still can't. So I was so grateful that nothing bad happened. And I stayed to myself and I stayed home. The whole of 2021 was very, 2022, sorry, mm -hmm. was very challenging for me because I didn't have the money or the finance to take care of myself. You a job. Yes, <laughs> or no job, or because I was told to humble myself, which I did. So I went live. I requested help from others, and um, some person reached out to me, mm -hmm. family members, friends, <laughs> everyone called me beggar, which you know, I'm not a beggar. I have no pride. I'm a person that I always get up anytime I fall. I always choose to stay on the right path. Mm -hmm. I don't do anything bad that put my body to use in order to gain something for it. I never did that and I will never. So I always reach out to help and ask the person to assist me financially. That's a great mentality. You stated uh, that you got a vision one day that you'll be wearing heels yes. and a crown. Mm -hmm. That you, uh, you won Miss Empress Guyana. Correct. How was that for you in, at that time, not being like fully mentally there, not having that much support from anyone? How did you encourage yourself to even participate in that pageant? Okay. Well, when I first got a vision, I said to myself it was stupid and <laughs> I even told others and they said I'm crazy. However, it this vision keep coming to me rapidly and it pushed me to find out, figure out this what. So I sent out applications about pageantry and no one responded. However, I get a, full, a flyer with Elite Pageant Company and they were having an interview. So I was there and when I shared my story on that platform, <laughs> the judges and everyone wanted to cry. Miss Rishini Budu was very helpful for me, to me, sorry, in that part. And they was like, I was strong. So at that time, I wanted to show everyone that although you're facing search, faces certain challenges, you're, you can still get up. And mm -hmm. regardless of your condition, your situation, that does not determine the outcome of your future and to keep going. So mm -hmm. I. It was very hard because I reached out to several persons for sponsorship and no one helped me. And some do, did, and some said they will, but they never re replied back to me or responded. But I did not give up. I was so down. Miss Roshini even gave me a p clothing to wear for my national costume. I got help from small businesses and Mr. Ho from her city. Mm -hmm. uh, you still got that support from yeah, them. Yeah, I had support from small businesses even until today, and I'm so grateful. Uh, do you see yourself competing more in pageantry? Is it your thing? Do you? Well, this is my first pageant. I was crowned to represent Guyana in one of the international competition. The title is Miss Empress Guyana. I will be leaving this year, sometime I'm not sure, to go to Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, and how do you feel about that? I um, I can't say I'm nervous because I, I don't be nervous, I don't be afraid. I'm not afraid of anything. Mm -hmm. But the sponsorship is very challenging because I still do have to pay my entrance fee mm -hmm. and I don't have the finance to do so. I am looking forward for my business to and I get larger so that I could be able to save and sponsor myself in that pageant. What's the name of your business? It's Natural Beauty Products, that GY. 
However, my steps are ordered by God, so I don't know what I will do next. But I can say for now, I'm trying to get my business out there. I'm trying to be more strong in my health and stronger physically, just to be happy. I just want to live in the present time and not to think too much about the future. So, Floretta, where do you see yourself this year? What are some of the plans that you have for yourself this year? To be honest, thank you for the question. Um, this year, I have several stuff I plan to study at uh, Computer World Business Management pretty soon, and I do wish to have. Well, they supported me by giving me a class this year, so I'm looking That's forward nice. for that. That's really great. And health-wise, how are you? My health is very challenging. I was feeling weak for several days. I, I, I attend the Georgetown Clinic last Tuesday to do a checkup. And they said that I have to come back on the 13th. So I'm not sh pretty sure. I'm not confident of my health at the moment mm -hmm. because Last time I went there, they said I have inflammation in my head, splattered of blood, brain and nerve damage, stones in my stomach, which could lead, which could lead to tumor later on in the future without treatment. Oh my, uh, my gulp is burst, so I have to eat in a certain diet and a lot of stuff that I cannot pronounce. But I am standing and I will continue standing until my day is end. You're confident enough in your, within yourself. Uh, tell me about your business. Okay. You stated earlier that you have a natural product business, right? Mm -hmm. Which is a product that lightens your skin within three days. three days. Yes. Tell me about it. Okay. When did you, what gave you that idea to start your business? Okay. Well, like I said, I'm a joint pageantry. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to get clearer skin complexion because the sun is very heated. So I got darker and I wanted something to make me to lighten up. So I start, because I didn't have the finance, I started to look up on all natural ingredients for one year. I've been working on these products and I had good results, like great results on myself. And last October, I started to promote my business. So a few person purchased from me. I thought the results would be shown within a week because it's a natural product. Mm -hmm. But it was they said that it was shown in three days. Within three days. Yes, the burns, stretch marks, sore skin infection, it were lightened within three days. So I'm so excited. <laughs> How can persons contact you? Okay, my page, mm -hmm. my business page is naturalbeautyproducts.gy. You can find it on Facebook and WhatsApp. But on WhatsApp, I will give you the number shortly. Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and on TikTok as well. My contact number is 633-6475. That's 633-6475. Is there anything else you'd like to add to the interview? Okay. I, for those persons that face certain challenges in life closer to mine, I'm just going to say that you're very strong and if you just continue to go in, to go, keep going. Remember that persons or others opinion of you does not determine the outcome of your future and you are strong, you're beautiful. Be kind, stay strong as always, be confident in yourself and keep going. Thank you so much. You're Thank so you. confident. Thank you. And that was Floretta Spooner. 21 years old who suffered a tremendous accident in 2019 she's very confident very inspirational and i adore her so much this has brought us to the end of focus my name is kimberly giddings big shout out to my technical guy cleveland james thank you at the most critical life-changing moments the national insurance scheme is here to ensure that your needs are covered Access reimbursement for medical expenses for various aspects of your medical care. We know that eye care is of utmost importance. Receive assistance with our spectacle care voucher. Visiting the dentist? 
dental care is also covered under our sickness benefit services. Offset the funeral expenses of a loved one with costs covered by our funeral benefits. National Insurance Scheme, we're there every step of the way.